Hi, beautiful souls. How's everybody out there doing today? So I'm back with our weekly energy and what we should be looking out for starting this week. It is a timeless video. So whatever you view this video, okay, whatever message resonates, it is for you, okay? So let's cleanse our area. I'm going to start off by just smudging my sage stick here very quickly. And then we'll get into the message. All right. Hope you all are having a beautiful day. Enjoying your day. All right. Okay. So the overall message for the week um, that I pulled was a two of waters. Okay. All right. Let's see what it says. Two of Waters. And the original tower deck is a Two of Cups, okay? And it says, a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. So, this week, all right, if you are in that stage of talking to somebody, dating somebody, all right, it feels excited right now, it feels brand new, you're unsure if you should take it further, what you should do, you know what, don't give in to the doubts, all right, go with the flow, see what happens, all right, it could turn out to be the love of your, love of your life, it could turn out to be Somebody that you know you're meant to be with give it a chance. Okay, don't write it off. All right I am Sensing you know with some of you guys maybe this person did something or start off on the wrong foot Give it a second chance. All right. Nobody's perfect Give it a second chance and see what happens. All right as well calling for forgiveness so we're all human, all right? We're all here on a spiritual journey. And there are things that somebody will say or do this week, not even this week, all right? It could be a burden that you've been carrying on for so long. Somebody did you something wrong and you've been carrying on that burden with you for a very long time. Perhaps you have heard from this person and you're unsure if you should continue the relationship with this person. I can't tell you what to do, all right? You have been through this hurt and pain with this person, but I'm going to say forgive, okay? Forgive this person. It doesn't mean that you need to have this person in your life, but you need to let go of the hurt and pain for your own good, okay? Don't carry around the burden. Stop carrying on the hurt and pain. Forgive, release, and let go. If you do choose to have this person in your life again, right, be cautious, be wary, all right? Have this person in your life, but take it slow, okay? This could be in a friendship, a relationship. Take it slow. Let this person prove themselves to you before you give your all, okay? This could be with anything in your life right now, all right? Take it slow. But you need to forgive. It makes no sense to carry around any pain and anger, any hurt. Because all it's doing is hurting you. All right? Release it. As well, a positive resolution of a conflict. So, I'm sensing a lot of us, you know, probably as well in a conflict could be in a relationship friendship even with families sometimes you know you have an argument or fight or something is going on right now and you're probably thinking i will never forgive that person things are, will never be the same we're all here like i said on a spiritual journey we all have to grow we all have to learn and sometimes we say things that are not meant to be said and we want to take it back, but it's too late because you already said it. You would have hurt that person. It's out there. But don't be too hard on yourself and don't be too hard on that person. If that person comes to you and does ask for forgiveness, forgive them. All right? Look within your heart and, and forgive them. 
If you are right now in a conflict with anybody in your life, this is a positive week to make amends, to make up and move on, all right? Have that heart-to-heart -heart talk. Sometimes that's all that's needed. It's for you to express yourself and let that person know how you feel, how you felt when things were said or when things were done to you, and moving forward, what you expect for that relationship. Okay, that's all it takes sometimes. It's just open communication. So this looks like a week, you know, a very emotional week for some of us. It's, you know, amending relationships. All right, letting go of past hurt. All right, and by many relationships, sometimes, you know, we do need to bring up things that have pissed us off, has hurt us, that somebody else has done to us. But we need to let it go. So it, I sense for a lot of us, this will be emotional week for a lot of us of releasing things that are holding us back, emotional things, all right? And, you know, continue to grow closer in your relationship with others. All right, let's move on. Let's see what else we have here, a message for the week. Angel message is saying fresh air, all right? Fresh air. So what it says, the angel message says, your body needs refreshment from air by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend some time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains, windows to refresh your home as well. It's funny because I look at it, two of water, two of cups, and you do see here water, all right? Water is emotional, washing away a lot of things out of our life, and fresh air. If possible this week, you know, try to spend some time outside, sometimes by yourself, you know, go out in nature, especially if you're dealing with a lot of conflict or just decisions in your life right now it's good to be near water you know water helps you to calm down it helps you to be more in tune with your intuition as well fresh air going outside walking out in nature all right it helps you to be more in tune with yourself it helps to receive messages as well if you're seeking messages from your spirit guides your ancestors something that you want help with go out in nature all right take a walk Okay, be near water as well. Water does release a lot of emotional blockages and built up emotions, all right? So it's calm for this week, you know, to be more in tune with yourself, all right? Release a lot of things that no longer serve you. And to be a lot near water, be, you know, more in tune with yourself, with your intuition, all right? Calm and you just take a walk. If you, you know, on break at work, Instead of being, you know, inside, you know, go out for a walk. If you do get 30 minutes for a break, you know, go for a walk for 30 minutes and come back, okay? Just release all the things that's bothering you, boggling you down this week, all right? And it, it helps. To, it, trust me, it does. It helps to just be by yourself and go for that walk out in nature and just, you know, don't don't force it. Anything that comes to you, anything that comes to mind is whatever messages that, you know, wants to be relayed to you, all right? And if you do live near water, you are blessed. You're you're lucky, all right? Go out there, you know, put your feet, you know, your feet in water. It's so common, trust me. Walking near a water or just being near water is so common, okay? And it does help you to relax and it helps you to bring up messages that, you know, that you need to hear. So if you have that chance, this opportunity this week, all right? Do that, okay? All right, so this week, what is calling for us to surrender? So... It says, surrender your fear of intimacy. Oh, wow. That ties in so much with two of cups, all right? It says, to relationship that continues to grow closer. Wow. All right. Before I go into that, let's say what the message is said. It says, you are ready to let love in. Wow. And begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. It's funny with the two of cups, it says relationship continues to grow closer. And like I said, okay, like I was saying earlier, if there's somebody that you're interested in, but you're just hesitant, okay, that's, you know, you're unsure, 
you know, maybe you're just unsure about love. You've been just in bad relationships. Things hasn't been working out for you. I feel this week you are going to meet somebody. Somebody's going to come into your life that's going to show you that they're there for you. You don't have to try too hard. They're going to show you that they're there. They're interested, you know. They're going to give you signs that they're interested, okay. Put the interest, you know, perhaps in the past you put more interest in that person than they did in you. This person that's coming along is going to show you that they're there. They're going to put the interest. They're going to text you back when you text. They're going to call you back when you call, all right? They're going to show you that interest. They're going to let you know that they're interested in you. Surrender to the fear of intimacy. Don't be scared to open up. Okay, don't be scared. It's a form of forgiveness as well. Forgiving yourself as well of the past hurt that you've been through. All right, sometimes it's a learning lesson for us to realize what we want for a partner. Okay, sometimes we go through the bad apples before we get to the good one, but it teaches us about ourselves as well what we want in our next relationship, what we want to bring into our next relationship what we will accept and what we don't want to accept in our next relationship. And sometimes it is for you to heal and for you to grow. And like I said, being near water this week, water helps to heal as well. And being out in fresh air, all right? Don't limit yourself, okay? If there's somebody this week that's showing you that's, you know, flirting with you and showing that interest, give it a chance, okay? Don't limit yourself, okay? Don't block yourself from love. And I know, I know it's, you know, it hurts when you put your all into somebody and they let you down, but that's a form of forgiving, forgiving yourself and forgiving that person as well. Some of us have to learn from our past mistakes and some of us do hurt others because we are scared of intimacy and we're scared of opening up to others. So what we do, we self-sabotage ourselves. So we need to let that go as well. You need to heal from that, okay? And sometimes that could be you as well. Sometimes when things are getting good in your life and when that love relationship is going so good, you self-sabotage it because you can't believe, oh, this is too good to be true. So you pick an argument. You do something that, you know, that self-sabotage self, self yourself and the relationship. So you need to let go that part of yourself as well, okay? And like I said, forgiveness. You need to forgive yourself and that other person as well. If it's your ex that hurt you, forgive them, all right? Maybe they're not on their spiritual journey as you. Maybe there are things about their life that they need to let go as well, but they're not on that path, but you are. So forgive them and let them go. If it's that ex that want to come back, like I said, sometimes time heals wounds and it heals us. And I believe in second chances. And, you know, don't, don't bash them, okay? Listen to what they got to say. And if you feel that you want to give them that second chance, forgive them. Give them that second chance. But don't go into it looking for anything like, oh, you did this in the past, so, you know, I can't trust you. No, go into it with a clean slate. You forgive them. Go into it and see what the possible of that relationship could unfold, all right? Don't limit yourself of it. If it's somebody new, don't base your past relationship on this new person, all right? This this is a new person. It's not your ex. It's not your, it's not your past relationship. Go into it with a clean slate and see what happens. Don't self-sabotage this one, all right? Take it slow and see what happens, all right? This person is showing you that interest. Give back the same interest, all right? You never know. Open your heart to love. Open your heart to any possibility, all right? You never know what can unfold, okay? All right, so let's see what law of attraction message comes up this week. It says no doubt. Don't doubt yourself this week, all right? It says I will eventually achieve success because I don't allow myself to doubt. All right. All right, so law of attraction. It's very simple, right? Whatever energy you put out there is whatever you will manifest. So if you put doubt, fears, and worries out there, you're going to definitely manifest doubt, fears, and worries. This ties into as well as the fear of intimacy and relationship, which is called for this week, all right? And growing closer with somebody and forgiving, all right? Don't have doubt, all right? Don't have doubt in anything that you put forth, all right? I'm sensing this week a lot with 
pulled in these cards have to do with relationships and letting go and forgiveness and trusting yourself and opening up to new possibility and new love, all right? It stands for us, a lot of us, it's going to welcome a new love in our life this week, all right? In the upcoming weeks, you might meet somebody, all right? Or forgive somebody and allow that person back in. But don't have any doubt surrounding it. Don't manifest the doubt, all right? Don't doubt the relationship. Don't doubt yourself. Like, should I give this person a second chance? Should I go into this relationship? This person wanted, you know, this new guy that I met at work or out walking, Wherever you meet this new person, don't doubt it, all right? Give it a chance. If you're going to doubt it, that's what you're going to bring into the relationship, doubt. So don't doubt yourself. Anything that you put forth, be positive and have positive thoughts about it, okay? Positive thoughts will manifest as positive things. Don't doubt yourself and don't doubt this relationship, all right? If it's not about relationship, just generally don't doubt yourself, okay? Anything that you put for, anything that you want this week, don't doubt yourself. Go into it with a positive mind frame and confidence. Confidence, all right? Confidence, trust me, will get you far. If you got to say affirmation to yourself over and over and over to get you in that mind frame, say those affirmations over and over and over. No doubt this week, all right? No doubt. But I sense for a lot of us this week, like I said, it has to do with relationship forgiveness and forgiving yourself as well. Don't doubt yourself, all right? If it is the right thing for you to do this week, you're going to know. And like I said, if you do need, um, you know, signs or um, just you doubt your, your, your thoughts or you're just unsure, go out for some fresh air, nature. Okay, sit down at a park somewhere. You're right. You will get the signs. You will get the messages from your spirit guides and ancestors. All you gotta do is just ask for it. Seek it. All right. Nature is a good way. All right. To you know to get any signs or any messages from your spiritual beings. All right. Or in water as well. Okay. But I'm dull. Uh, you know I'm, I'm sensing a lot of you guys might be you know dull of that new guy. All right. Don't doubt him. New guy or new girl, whatever it is, that love interest, don't doubt. Go in it with open arms and see what happens. Open your heart, okay? All right. So, and then I pulled um, our abundance money, all right? This week, what messages that will come up for this week regarding our finances, all right? And I pulled obstacles and blocks are lifted. All right, I'm going to read it, but you know what? I feel that pulling these messages this week, it calls up for relationships, intimacy, and just being as one with yourself and others. And I just feel a lot of us this week are not going to be focused on finances, but you know, I pulled it. I'm going to read it and see what it says. But I feel this week, a lot of us, is going to be in our emotions. It's going to be more emotional for a lot of us. It's going to be more based on um, forgiving others that they have done done to us. Forgiving ourselves that we have put ourselves through. Self-sabotaging self ourselves. And just being at one with your mind, body, and spirit by being out in nature and being near water, all right? So, and not doubting yourself. But let's see what it says for finances. But I don't feel this week that a lot of focus would be on finances. But I'm just going to read it and see, right? Because maybe a lot of us are not there when it comes to love, all right? So for this week, it says, all your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away you will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues all right so for those who are not interested in love okay because not all of us you know want that somebody or care about love which i do feel love love is powerful right even self-love but for those, okay, that just want a finance, all right, a very quick finance message, it's pretty straightforward, all right? Anything that you're working towards, project, or just manifesting 
um, a new project or just some more money in your life, the obstacle blocks are being lifted. So the spirits are letting you know, your spirit guides, angels are letting you know that you're on the straight path to that prosperity, all right? And that abundance, all right? Positive energy towards finance, all right? And just be more grateful this week, all right? Gratitude this week will carry you far. But just letting you know, like, stop worrying about that project or if things are going to be, you know, going off well for me this week. And if I start a new project, a new venture, how is it going to go? Go ahead, all right? Start it this week, all right? Money looks good, all right? Anything that you put forth this week, money looks good, all right? If you're a bit struggling when it comes to finances, the blocks of, and obstacles are lifted. Money looks good, all right? So as well as relationships. I feel that is a focus this week. It's more self-love, more forgiveness, all right? More going within. Water calls for us to go more within, looking at ourselves as well as others and Calling for intimacy, all right? Be more intimate with yourself and others around you. Be more open, okay? Not scared of love. Not scared of failure, all right? If you do put your heart out there and it fails, just look at it as a learning lesson and on to the next one, okay? All right? So, I hope you guys do enjoy this message. I know it's going to be a very emotional week, all right? Calls for a lot of us to, you know... Be more in tune with ourself and our emotions, all right? But it's okay. It's all right. It's not going to hurt you to fall in love. It's not going to hurt you to call for you to go more within, all right? More self-love, more to look at yourself. It's not going to hurt if you do forgive, all right? It's not going to hurt. You're just going to release a lot of, you know, pent-up pain, anger, and hurt, all right, people sometimes do and say things that they don't realize have hurt us, but we need to forgive them and move on. Okay, move on. And I'm looking at this card, the fear of intimacy. All right, I do know a lot of us do carry around a fear of intimacy. We're scared to open up to others because we're, you know, we put on armor, I guess. Okay, it's like we're so strong and, you know, we let the ego rule. But Sometimes it's good to show your vulnerable side. Sometimes it's good to show yourself, all right? Because not everybody's out there is there to hurt you. And you will know if that is a good person or not. You will know. Your heart will tell you. You will know. Your spirit guides will tell you. You will know if, if it's worth actually opening up to that person. But don't go into it with any self-doubt. Don't doubt yourself and don't self-sabotage it, okay? Open up to it. See what happens. Let it unflow. Let it flow. Let it unfold. All right? Don't, don't, you know, block yourself. All right? All right? Okay. All right, guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys again for the next one. So please like, subscribe, and share if you guys have gotten this far in this message. And I'll see you again for another one. Bye.